Now arriving at Rift Station, Binary Helix Research Facility. Sorry, we couldn't be sure what was on the tram. Can those things work a train's controls? Hell if I know. I'm not assuming any goddamn thing. Look, you're human and that's enough that I won't shoot, but I'd like to know who you are. My name is Shepard. I'm a Spectre. Huh. I won't look a heavily armed horse in the mouth. The aliens overran the hot labs last week. Only Han Olar got out and he ain't all there anymore. The first we knew the bastards were clawing into my command post. We had a lot more staff then. We've never seen anything like them. What do you know? I'm no xenobiologist. They're fast, vicious, and there's a hell of a lot of them. The board sent an Asari to clean up the mess. She went to the hot labs yesterday. We haven't heard from her since. Benezia. Is she still over there? I don't know. I don't see what one person could do. A matriarch has the skill to keep herself alive for a long time. There's an emergency elevator out by the trams. This card will let you activate it can take you down to the hot labs. Oh, and if you need any first aid, Dr. Cohen's downstairs in the med bay. Tell me about Rift Station. I can't talk about everything. What do you need to know? What kind of research is done here? Beats me. I'm not supposed to know. So long as people don't start dying, it's not my problem. Tell me about the defenses here. Secure enough that you shouldn't poke in corners. I was just impressed with your operation. Being able to weather a week of assaults is no mean feat. Only the best get assigned to high-security facilities like this. What impresses me most is the turrets, alarms, and cameras. They're all routed through a central location out by the quarantine labs. One guy can lock down the whole facility. The security hub's the last logical fallback, and we'd have cover from the turrets all the way. What can you tell me about the aliens? Ask Dr. Olar. He's the only one who made it out of the hot labs. He's the only Volus left in here. I've got work to do. Yeah, I hear that. Hell! Man the perimeter! Look out! Go, go, go! Thanks for the help. Every few hours, a group comes up the tram tunnel. It's actually better since we locked down the elevator. They always attack here? It's an obvious kill zone. Their only other option is over the mountain and down through the ducts, and they freeze like everyone else. I don't know why they keep throwing themselves against our defenses. Even animals should learn not to stick their noses where it hurts. sent here to find an Asari matriarch. Surprised? One has visited recently. Furtively. There are rumors she has gone to the hot lab. For now, with forced cheer. 
I still have a limited supply of equipment to sell. This doesn't seem like the time for commerce. With nervous amusement, I have nothing else to do. Why not continue to run my kiosk? Let's have a look. Regretfully, most of my stock has been appropriated by Captain Ventralis. sleep since the attack. Yeah, is there something you need? I'm looking for an Asari. Asari? Well, there's Dr. Ialis over there. There's also our guest, Lady Benezia. Captain Ventralis might know where she is. What do you know about the Hot Labs? Nothing. I didn't work there. As far as I know, Han Olar was the only survivor. Is he in the medical ward? No, he's staying in the science team's quarters. Be gentle with him. He had a trying experience. I'll talk to you later. Remember to report any suspicious noises. Got a smoke? We're all out. Hang on. What, what, what do you want? Were they attacked by the aliens? They're suffering from a toxin. There was an accident. I have a non-disclosure agreement. I shouldn't discuss it with anyone outside of the company. But you're going to, because I might be able to help. And I'd like to think that the company finds our lives more valuable than their secrets. You know Mira, the VI for Peak 15? She handles the safety protocols for our experiments here. We reactivated her on our way through Central Station. That was you? I'm grateful. Until she came online, the automatic equipment wouldn't work. We lost the connection to Mira in the middle of an experiment and the quarantine failed. These three were exposed to a toxin, something we were working on. I understand your caution, but I need details. What you say won't go beyond these walls. It's a bioweapon. Based on an exotic life form discovered on the frontier. They wanted something that could kill the creature. But there was no profit in something that kills one species on the frontier. We kept working on it and adapted it to affect more species. Thoros B is highly infectious, but can't pass from one person to another, like a bio-war attack without a pandemic spread. It doesn't matter how safe you make it. Biological weapons are illegal. Militaries, governments, they'll get this kind of weapon one way or another, and we're trying to limit the damage. I know you can't see that. You made this but can't cure it. Don't you people take notes? Our first priority was getting it working. We were close to synthesizing an antidote when Mira went down. Our notes and equipment are locked in the quarantine labs. Captain Ventralis doesn't want to risk more contamination. Is he right to keep people out? No, the toxin has a brief period of viability. After that it breaks down into simple protein chains. But he won't listen to me. I'll talk to him. Maybe I can convince him to let me try. I can't ask you to do this officially, but if you can do anything, I'd appreciate it. Talk to you later. I hope you can do something. This system is online and ready to provide emergency services. What's wrong with these people? Accessing logs. They were in the midst of an experiment when the shutdown began. When you were taken offline. Without my program to administrate containment procedures, a quarantine breach occurred. 
What treatments have been attempted? I'm afraid treatment is not possible. An unknown toxin is present within the tissues of each patient. We don't need anything right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. What? Do you know Matriarch Benezia? Why ask me, and not your friend? Because I do not know anything about the Matriarch. Then why would I? You're a member of the science teams? Recently transferred, yes. What do you do here? Molecular genetics. I specialize in biotic-enhanced allele-specific hybridization. Think you could translate that into galactic? It's a genetic thing. Forget it. You seem less upset at this situation than the others. That is one of the virtues of the meditation you interrupted. That's all for now. Then I will return to my meditations. Something you need? I've heard about the problems in the quarantine lab. I'd like to recover the toxin cure. God, I wish we could help those guys. I really do, but we can't risk contamination now. We're not part of your defense plans. We're consuming extra rations, extra metagel. Yeah, but you also have extra guns. All right, you want to gamble with your life, you're not under my command. I'll have the guard let you in, but he'll lock the door behind you. He'll run a full scan before he'll let you out. If there are any anomalies, you stay in there. Those are reasonable precautions. I'll radio ahead to let the guard know. Good luck. I've got work to do. You and me both. to find out about them, didn't you? You mean those things out there? Yes. I'm the only survivor from the hot lab, you know. I need to know more about those things out there. About the Rachni? Rachni? That's preposterous. The Krogan wiped them out a thousand years ago. They found it in a derelict ship. An egg waiting since the last battles. They brought it here. Shut up! God, you want to get us killed? I don't have any control over who lives or dies here. Do you? If you're gonna be crazy, be the quiet kind. Crazy? I'm sane. God, am I sane. I need to know everything about the Rachni. I told you all I can. We brought the Rachni back from the dead. In retrospect, a bad decision. 
I heard you were at the hot labs. How did you make it out alive? I killed her. Who? Doctors on Muir. We were going to lunch when the alarms went off. I ran into the tram and I closed the doors. She banged on the window once, then they sliced her to pieces. Her head came apart like a melon. I closed the door. I killed her. If you hadn't, you'd be dead too. Of course. That is perfectly true. Could Matriarch Benezia survive in the hot labs? It's possible. The specimens were sensitive to biotics. I'll be leaving now. Yeah. I used to have nightmares like this. Too many cheap horror vids before lights out. Gotta keep the mood light. I mean, if you don't laugh, you'll... Yeah, you, you just have to. You're not part of the crew. I have Ventralis's permission to go in there. Yeah, he radioed. He also said you have to prove you're not contaminated to get out. You got a death wish? You should stand watches on the barricade. Your mission ends here, Shepard. Ambush. You're a sleeper agent for Benezia. I was ordered to eliminate you should the opportunity arise. And here you are, trapped in this lab. Weapons free! that a sorry doctor killed the guard. They came out of there. You mean the get... the inorganics the Asari had with her? Benezia brought them with her. How can I get into the maintenance area? A team lead would have access. Like Dr. Cohen. He's in the medical bay. I'll be leaving now. Yeah.
You did it? That Asari scientist, the one in the mess hall, she just tried to kill us. Alestia? That's unbelievable. Well, I... I, uh, I don't know much about her. She arrived a month ago. One of the shareholders pulled strings to get her here. Let me guess. Sarah and the Spectre. Yes. I think that was the name. I, I don't pay attention to the other research teams. Look. The guards? They've been more on edge since you got here. I think they were expecting you. And there are more labs in the back. The guards won't even let me back there. Just people with clearance. What about the maintenance area? Do you have access to that? The maintenance area? Yes. Take my pass. But there's just snow back there. Let me see that file. An extension on Phelps' work? I thought he was on the right track. I can't thank you enough that... Oh, God, what a cliché. You saved their lives, do you know that? Could you spare a few medical packs? They're worth their weight in gold up here. You didn't get these from me. Ventrolis wanted them saved for his people. I need to administer this. Thanks again. Something you need? I was attacked by the Asari who was in here. She killed your guard. Dr. Ayalis? But she seemed like the most stable one here. She was a huntress pledged to the Matriarch. A group of Geth were with her. Geth? I didn't know. God's honest truth, I thought she was just another egghead. Son of a bitch. I've got work to do. You and me both. see you well. Let's have a look. Regretfully, most of my stock is being appropriated by Captain Ventralis.
You do not know the privilege of being a mother. There is power in creation. To shape a life, turn it toward happiness or despair. Her children were to be ours, raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies. I won't be moved by sympathy, no matter who you bring into this confrontation. Liara's here because she wants to be, not because I asked her to. Indeed. What have you told him about me, Liara? What could I say, Mother? That you're insane? Evil? Should I explain how to kill you? What could I say? Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. There's obviously no peaceful way to settle this. Indeed. This is not over. Saren is unstoppable. My mind is filled with his light. Everything is clear. Start talking, Benezia. What's Saren's next move? I will not betray him. You will... You... You must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly, but the indoctrination is strong. Are you saying he brainwashed you? People are not themselves around Saren. You come to idolize him, worship him. You would do anything for him. The key is Sovereign, his flagship. It is a dreadnought of incredible size, and its power is extraordinary. The ship that attacked Eden Prime? I didn't think anything that size could land on a planet. It has a very powerful mass effect drive, but that is not Sovereign's true power. The longer you stay aboard, the more Saren's will seems correct. You sit at his feet and smile as his words pour into you. It is subtle at first. I thought I was strong enough to resist. Instead, I became a willing tool, eager to serve. He sent me here to find the location of the Mew Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. How does something that big go missing? 4,000 years ago, a star nearby went supernova. 
the shockwave propelled the relay out of its system but did not damage it. Its precise vector and speed are impossible to determine. As millennia passed, the nebula created by the Nova enveloped the relay. It is difficult to find any cold object in interstellar space, particularly something swathed in hot dust and radiation. Can I assume you found the coordinates? 2,000 years ago, the Rachni inhabited that region of our galaxy. They discovered the relay. The Rachni can share memories across generations. Queens inherit the knowledge of their mothers. I took the location of the relay from the Queen's mind. I was not gentle. You have to give me the location. I transcribed the data to an OSD. Take it, please. Knowing the relay's coordinates is not enough. Do you know where he planned to go from there? Saren wouldn't tell me his destination. But you must find out quickly. I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are at my ear. Fingers on my spine. You sh you should. Oh, you should. Mother, I don't leave. Fight him. You've always made me proud, Liara. Die! I cannot go on. You will have to stop him, Shepard. Hold on. We've got Medigel. Maybe we can... No. He is still in my mind. I am not entirely myself. I never will be again. Mother. Good night, little wing. I will see you again with the dawn. No light. They always said there would be a... This one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless. Musics? What? Your way of communicating is strange. Flat. It does not color the air. When we speak, one moves all. 
We are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. How are you speaking through her? Our kind sing through touchings of thought. We pluck the strings and the other understands. She is weak to urging. She has colors we have no names for. But she is ending. Her music is bittersweet. It is beautiful. The children we birthed were stolen from us before they could learn to sing. They are lost to silence. End their suffering. They cannot be saved. They will only cause harm as they are. I don't understand. Why are your children killing people? These needlemen. They stole our eggs from us. They sought to turn our children into beasts of war. Claws with no songs of their own. Our elders are comfortable with silence. Children know only fear if no one sings to them. Fear has shattered their minds. I understand. A child left alone in a closet until she is 16 would not be sane. All right. I don't think they'll give me much choice anyway. Before you deal with our children, we stand before you. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? The Rachni were a threat to the galaxy. Those tanks are filled with acid. If she gets out of hand, they dissolve her. They made a mistake. They let the Krogan go too far. This is a chance for us to atone. She has done nothing to us. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us or return our people to the silence of memory. If I let you live, would you attack other races again? No, we, I, do not know what happened in the war. We only heard discordance, songs the color of oily shadows. We would seek a hidden place to teach our children harmony. If they understand, perhaps we would return. Are you a survivor from the war? A clone? We do not know. We were only an egg, hearing Mother cry in our dreams. A tone from space hushed one voice after another. It forced the singers to resonate with its own sour yellow note. Then we awoke in this place. The last echo of those who came out from the singing planet. The sky is silent. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. You will give us the chance to compose anew? We will remember. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children.
Are you here to secure the situation? If by secure you mean shoot every monster I see, sure. I am certain you are having strong feelings. But what has happened here, it is our fault. You understand? You let these things out? Uh, I am only following the orders. Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Rachni's ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. They brought it here to wake it up? Binary Helix planned to clone Rachni, mass produce them, create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Rachni. It is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. Hold on. Don't you need a male to get eggs? Queens are born carrying the genetic code of their fathers. Eggs are carried away from the colony to hatch alone. Queens can lay eggs in hours and have a colony in days. This is how they spread so quickly. Separating them from their mother didn't work. Ah, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. Are you telling me I shouldn't kill these things? Uh, actually, I was to tell you the opposite. These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but... They must be euthanized. I am thinking that the Neutron Purge must be set off. I'm not familiar with the Purge system. It creates bursts of Neutron radiation. Kills everything within the station. Things beyond get genetic damage of varying degree. How do we set off the Purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then I will give Mira destruct... <laughs> I have full access to the facility and am at your disposal. How many Rachni are in here? I'm sorry, the sensor network is too damaged to provide an accurate count. What's the status of the facility? Containment breach and laboratory pod Gamma. The neutron purge system is functional, but has not been armed. Activate the neutron purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Code input, 875-020-079. Code Omega, local execution. Verified. Code Omega execution in 120 seconds. 